what is going on guys welcome back to the channel i hope you're having a phenomenal day so far and we got a special special video for you it's my last film photography challenge of the year and today we're going to be shooting with two medium format cameras the Hasselblad and the Mia RZ67 Pro 2 and shooting some black and white film today i'm going to be shooting alongside james from white knight studios here in milwaukee wisconsin he was actually one of the first folks to reach out to me when I started my film journey. So super shout outs to him. Uh, we had a fun time during this shoot here. Uh, wasn't really more of a competitive scene, but just a friendly photo walk with the model, so to say. Speaking of model, we are working with Isabella again. You've seen her on the channel multiple times. She's great to work with and all their information will be in the description down below. So I mentioned shooting with black and white film. Y'all know, of course, that I love black and white photos. So on one hand, we had some Berlin 400, right? And on the other hand, we had some Cine Steel BWXX. So James is shooting with the Berlin film and I'm shooting with the Cine Steel BWXX. And we're gonna just go out. We had three different rounds here, basically. We each take a turn shooting with Isabella and then we swap roles and then go it again for until we're done with our three roles per person. It was a very interesting experience shooting with black and white film, especially just using like our different techniques and elements. James as well uses flash systems for his film too. So he wanted to incorporate a lot of that stuff where I just kind of shot natural light and wanted to look and find the best composition with the shadows and the light shining in. So of course it was a great, great time uh, in terms of lenses that we use for it. These are pretty tight lenses, right? So James had a 150 f4 on his Hasselblad and I had a 180 f4.5 on my Mamiya. And I haven't shot with that lens since I first got it, since y'all know my uh, 110 f2.8 lens doesn't leave that camera at all. So it was a good change of pace. Without further ado, we're gonna jump into the behind the scenes portion of the video. But first, you guys make sure you give this video a thumbs up as well as click that subscribe button if you aren't a subscriber yet so you don't miss any upcoming content as we close out the rest of 2022. Thank you again. Let us know in the comments which photos you prefer and I'll catch y'all in the next one. Peace. So I am using three rolls of Cine Steel BWXX. So I'm looking for more of the black to give more of that punchy, contrasty look when I'm shooting, okay? I haven't used this in medium format yet, only with 35, so I'm really excited to see some of the results. Okay. So going back to the Mamiya after shooting with the F3 for so long, I am having to understand I'm back on an inverted screen, meaning everything is backwards or opposite. So if you could slide a little bit this way for me. Perfect, right there is good. Okay. Since we're in shade right now, I'm about at a F5.6, 250th of a second. All right, stay just like that for me. One, two, Three, fantastic. So this is Black Door again. Contrasty look, we're looking for those punchy blacks because these, this film stock, at least from when I used it on the F3, it gave us that like punchy, inky blacks. And I really like love that in the images. So, um, yeah, you know what? I'm gonna get you again, like right here. Just a little bit of a close up, okay? You can just look right at me get you in focus wonderful right there one two three sweet so this 180 lens is about the equivalent of a 90 a 90 millimeter for like full frame so i'm going to try my best i want like that hotel metro upper sign so i'm off the back up quite a bit not get hit by traffic <laughs> in the process. You see like that first triangle square right here, step into that like as far up as you can. Keep going, I'll tell you when, I'll tell you when. Right there, right there, yes ma'am. Three, I think I got it. Scoot a little bit more towards that way. Um, sorry, op opposite, opposite. Okay, yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, one, two, three. Okay, yep, you're good right here. So act like that you're kind of, we got eight seconds, so we're gonna make this quick. Act like you're walking like towards here and I'll get you at an angle, just stop. And then I'll do, actually you're fine because they're, they're good right there. Okay, say it right there for me. 
Perfect, this is wonderful. Three. I'm gonna do one more here. Yep, you're good, I'm gonna back up some. One, two, three. Fantastic, let's scoot over here. These, uh, I like these, the benches here, honestly. You wanna maybe do one where you're kinda just leaning against it or arm like on the table right there. Yeah, let's see how much of that sunlight is popping in there. Fanta, oh yeah, 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 okay, okay, okay. This is gonna look nice in black and white. One, two, three. One, two, three. more oh i like that could you do one you're kind of tipping your hat but kind of like looking up towards the sky yeah i'm gonna see how much of that i can get in the background with this tight lens you kind of can you like just crouch maybe yeah not act like you're sitting maybe like wanna yeah let me see Hold on. Yeah, I think those leaves will... Okay. Yep, that's perfect. Perfect, perfect. Okay. One, two, three. James is starting, so we'll head back over there and see what he got in store for you, okay? Hi, this is James Holbeck, White Knight Photography. Um, I'm gonna be shooting today with the 500C. I wanted to first thank Dakota for letting me belong, part of, be part of this. It's always a fun time. Um, so I guess I'm going to be doing a little bit of off-camera flash as well. Uh, so try to play with the light a little bit more. But yeah, we're going to start kind of over in this corner, and I'm going to try to just utilize some of the natural space a little bit. So I'm going to actually have you come and sit down on this, this part right here, kind of kicking your feet out. I'm going to be shooting kind of along the edge. And then this will kind of give you a little bit of a hair light. I'm gonna, can I have you kind of lean out a little bit away from the wall? There you go. I just, I want you to hide, I had no hiding behind the bushes there. Ready, one, two, three. Yeah, you're gonna pretty much be right in that corner there. I'm gonna have this kind of snaking across the wall, kind of lighten you up that way. It's gorgeous, and I'll be down over here. Get ready, one, two, three. I'm gonna have you kind of crouch way to, like down, maybe kick uh, like a leg out more so. That's good, 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 good. Yep. Ready, one, two, three. Uh. Eleven still. All right. That way. Everything's backwards. There you Good, right there. Have you kind of play inside this window a little bit? There you are. There you are. 
And I'm gonna dial this down. One, two, three. Good. Oh, actually, before we do that, I see something right here. Oh yeah. Okay. So I like this whole. I like this whole setup. This screams contrast. We have like the kind of darker greens right here. Uh, this darkened area like this mid black um there's a mirror right here so i'm gonna have you kind of come like right in the middle of those and then yep and then i'll come from an angle and get you there or just sit out in the chair okay one two three Stay right there for me. My favorite thing to tell people is to not just shoot and go, especially with film, right? You want to utilize the entirety of the situation, shoot from angles, get different perspectives because you never know like what type of images will turn out. So I'm gonna move over here. Let me see. Can we switch places oh, yeah. real quick? Thank you. Okay, so fun fact, her face is covered because of the angle, so I'm going to try to get in here as close as possible. Yeah, okay. Yeah, you're, please stay right there, you're good. Just trying to get that leaf out of your mouth here. Okay, one, two, three. Oh, that's gonna be lovely. Um, so at this point, Right here, we have light from whatever seeping through the clouds right now. Then right in this section, it's just pure darkness. So I'm gonna maybe angle her in between this to see like we get different contrast and shade on each side of her face. You know what? So, I think that opposite side right there might do us a little bit better. Let's squeeze through here. Actually use this wall, the pure white one right here, yes. And then it, from this angle here, I'll shoot you towards the dark area. It's gonna be more of a face shot. As you can see, the colors also provide different types of shadows and contrast as well, right? So you see like the wall, you know, you have more of a beige, like whitish wall versus the rustic red down here. We're gonna go to the rustic red. All right, so on this, here, I can now see the light from this side of her face versus the shadows on this side. So this is gonna be nice. Touch her head down a little bit more for me. Perfect. Stay right there, this is gonna be good. One, two, three. Fantastic. I don't know if you guys see what I'm seeing, but this slit right here in the alley where like the light's all the way at the end. I'm gonna have her stand maybe at the end of the alleyway and then see if I'm capturing her. I'll have to step back quite a bit though since this is a 90. Oh yes, 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 yes. Okay, okay, hold up. Let me get you in focus here. All right, so for this next spot, I've chosen, uh, I'm gonna try to find like a frame within a frame. That's one of the things I love doing with photography is to try to picture a, a natural kind of window. And then I'm gonna shoot from back here from, to get a little ways away. And I'm using the light to basically kind of create a, a shadow line or a highlight uh, on uh, on her face and then really kind of de kind of put the rest of it in shadow, really help her pop out. Uh, it works well if you, when you got these flat light because as Dakota mentioned, the, the sun's really not doing us any favors for creating shadows or anything like that. So I'm gonna try and create my own and we'll see how it goes, so. Ready, one, two, three. Good. And I'm just gonna move you over into this little one, kind of same idea with a using a natural frame. But this is gonna be a lot more of a close-up. Um, so it'll, obviously I don't have much room to move, but try to do like a waist up. And then a nice and tight. 
gorgeous. I love the, uh, the colors here work really great. You got the, the browns working with the, the rest of the browns. So unfortunately it's black and white, but at the same time, it, it's kind of the things I look for when I'm setting up a shot. All right, ready? One, two, three. Gorgeous. All right, what I'm gonna do here, I'm gonna have you, if you can sit with your legs kicked out this way, kind of right on that shadow line, and then kick your legs this, so you're gonna be here, like this, and I'm gonna have you kind of like leaning back into the sun, and then I'm gonna be up there shooting. Yeah, that's good. I'm gonna have you kind of like looking up a little bit just to get a little bit more light on the face, and then turn, a little bit, uh, yep, just like that, perfect. That is spectacular. Maybe bring the purse rather than between the legs, bring it over onto one side or the other. There you are, just like that. Uh, maybe more the other side, It'll, uh, I'll be able to see more of it that way. There you go. Right out of a Vogue magazine, let me tell you. Ready, um, I'm gonna have to adjust this. One. One, two, three. All right, I'm gonna put you right in that little, right up against here. Um, and either I might have you playing with the, we'll try like having you play with the bars first. Okay. See how that looks. Maybe trying to like bring a foot up onto the ledge. Uh, maybe if you shift your weight to your, yeah. Yeah, put your, bring up the other, yeah, there you are. That's good, I like that like that. Or just like that. And then if you can turn the toe in more and bring it more heel, just to, and maybe drop just the heel onto it. Uh, bring it up. I like it better. There we are, that's good. All right, so there you go. Okay, ready, one, two, Three. Yeah, yeah. There we go, that's good. The mirror is gonna kind of really kind of elongate it, kind of create a really bit of a different effect to it. And then I just wanna get this a little bit further away, get that out of my shot. I might need to pump that up a tiny bit more. There you are. That's, that's cool. Since we got a little bit of light working with us again, um, I'm gonna have you... I'm gonna have you stand in the, like your feet in the shadow, but I'm gonna have you kind of lean back dramatic and let the, ba let the bag hang. Boom, killed it. Uh, and I'm gonna have you come in here. So I'm gonna have you sit right in this area. And what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna have, I don't know if you remember that. I'm gonna bring this around to the back. I'm gonna brave this world. There we go. And I'm gonna... All right. So this is, gonna, this is a little closer than I was anticipating, but can I have you kind of looking up towards me a little bit? If you remember the uh, first shoot we ever did together. Gorgeous. Huh? Oh, sorry, wait one second, one shot. Ready, one, two, three, killer. Um, 
So I'm actually gonna bring you down. I'm gonna have you like, I wanna, have, I wanna try to create like a line. So there you are, right down the center, that's good. Uh, can I have you change this? I need to have your face going towards the light a little bit, just to, yeah, so change it up. I like the, I love the pose, just I need to have your face more towards the light. There you go. So just mirror that, perfect. All right, ready, one, two, three. Killer. So I don't, I don't know if you already know what I'm thinking here, but I uh, literally half body, half in saddle, half in light, and go from there. Okay, I have this upside down. Do I have your permission to stand over you real quick? Okay. Oh, it's getting trapped on your leg here. Let me get you all focused. Hey, Kia, come get this of me like holding this like this. This is kind of freaky. But I learned this from uh, watching Valandez on his channel. <laughs> okay, I'm not, I haven't mastered this by any stretch of the imagination. Okay, now where's my shutter? Where's my click? <laughs> okay, right here, right here. All right, you're good right there for me. One, two, three. But how about you kind of do an exaggerate, like lean a little bit towards this way? Yeah, 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 okay. Now we're talking. Now we should start seeing some of those. Oh yeah, keep that for me. One, two, three. Fantastic. Uh, yeah, one more. Yeah. So I'm actually going to, yeah, you're good like that. Yeah, so we have a bunch of shadow pockets here with the light. And then you can use the, the railings. So again, frame up the model. They can do different poses like she's doing now. I'll show you guys another one right after this shot. Okay, so see, this is wonderful. So now like on her face here, I got light, I got shadows, her clothes, like the brown is reflecting some of the sunlight. So this is gonna look really beautiful. Let me back up as much as I possibly can here. So I'm shooting with a 180 lens. Okay, one, two, three. Fantastic. Oh God, I actually can't get all that sweet. Okay. All right, let me get you a focus here. Right there, you're good. Okay, one, two, three. <laughs> like a foot hanging up here, just like hanging off the side right there. Is that fine? Okay, actually, could you do one? Like, so you're you're literally, so you're standing and then you're leaning off, like holding that, if that makes sense. Um, standing on here? Yes. So, and then like you're taking a hand, like leaning off of the side if possible. Three. Sweet. Thank you, good sir, appreciate you. And I'm gonna, I'm gonna kind of do kind of a low angle. So what I'm gonna have you do is I'm gonna have you kind of lean over the camera a little bit. Yeah, like that. And then I'm gonna, here we are. And kind of be looking off that, uh, that direction. Sorry, that one. I wanna have you at op opposites of the face in the background. Two, three. Gorgeous. You sitting kind of right in this yellow. Sitting? Uh, actually, no, I'm gonna have you stand because I want to get the shadow. And I'm gonna actually bring you up onto the red now that I think about it because you're creating a really cool shadow here. And I'm gonna, I'm gonna utilize that to, to like the nth degree. So do something that like, yeah, really just focus looking at that. There you go. I love that shadow. Like, 
because then I can create a nice kind of mirror image. And let me add a, just a couple things, F16, I believe. F11, I guess. 11, gorgeous. Oh yeah, this is cool. All right, ready? Get to make sure my focus is locked on to what I want. There we go. Ready, one, two, three. That is killer. Um, let's uh, get out of the road before somebody ends up being roadkill. against there kind of kicking your legs out that way there you are maybe a little a little yeah just you do your thing that's um. good ready one two three Kind of create some equal space here, but let you kind of shine and have it kind of balance. So you're going to be pretty much right where I was. Uh, over a tiny bit. Stay on this side of that crack. There you are. There you go. One, two, three. Killer. So I think I'm going to have you Kind of up against here. I'll get rid of those cobwebs for you. There you go. Um, trying to trying to like engage both sides. Of it. Yep. There you are. And I'm gonna have you kind of lean forward just to kind of come out of there. You are just like that. Perfect. Ready? One, two, three. 